you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the most overpowered power up cards that I currently think are a great idea to pick up in this game. Now, this list won't be out of 10 like I usually do. It's a little bit shorter because I've really narrowed it down more so. Now, there's a common theme when I make videos just like this. I have a bias towards certain types of players, but it's not because I like them anymore. It's because I think that certain promo slash theme players work a lot better for power-up cards, such as, like, the Mutt 10 players, right? Because let's say I say Stefan Gilmore is a good power-up. To get Stefan Gilmore powered up, you're going to have to buy that full card for 300k, power up his card for another 200k, get all the abilities back on. It's going to cost, like, 500 600k. The Mutt 10 players, on the other hand, you can power them up straight shot to 90 overall plus without having to buy a single card just for training. So I always feel like those players, that's my bias towards them, that they're a lot more, they're a lot more efficient, cheaper, and you get top tier cards out of it for a much, much less of a price than if you had done it with a full card that's like a regular card like Stefan Gilmore. Now, if you guys understood all that, I hope you did. If you did not, I'll probably cover it out throughout the basis of this video anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Now, if you are new to the channel, guys, Make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button. You guys have been killing the subscribe button lately and the noti bell. Hit that too, boys. I'd appreciate it all. We're really close to 9K. With all the recent support, we're getting pretty close there. And then hopefully 10K shouldn't be too far away either. And also, guys, make sure to comment down below if you think I missed anyone on this list. I have about eight players here. And obviously, there's a lot more than eight players. So if you guys have any questions or people that you think that I missed out on on this list, make sure to comment it down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to drop a like in this video, boys. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm going to do it here real quick. I'm going to do a little quick in-video giveaway, a 50,000 coin giveaway. All you have to do is comment down below 50K, so I know that you guys you guys did it, and make sure to like the video. If this video gets 350 likes, and you guys comment down below 50K, automatically I can randomize the comments based off that. Now, if we don't hit the like goal, I'll do it again next video. I haven't done these in quite a while. If you guys are new to the channel or old to the channel, you probably don't even remember it because I've grown quite a bit since I last did this. But just remember, 50k and drop a like, guys. Now, let's get into this video. I'm going to run this through the auction block the way I usually like to do it. Now, I'm probably going to be showing you guys the full cards and then in reference showing you guys what they could look like with their power-up card. So, number 8 on the list, guys, actually doesn't have a card in the block yet. The new Mutt 10 card. I'm a big proponent of powering up Mutt 10 cards. So, there was Bo Jackson. You could power him up to a 90 overall without his full card. He was one of the best running backs in the game. Patrick Willis came out. You could power him up to a 90 overall or an 89 overall. My bad. 89 overall middle linebacker. He was one of the best middle linebackers in the game. Randy Moss came out. He's one of the best wide receivers in the game at a 90 overall, which I currently have. Michael Vick, 90 overall power up, one of the best quarterbacks in the game. You guys get the you guys get the point already. So in my opinion, every new Mutt 10 card that comes out should definitely be within your consideration to get a power up card and power them up. So at the moment, number eight on this list is going to be the new Mutt 10 card that will be coming out this Friday. At least consider it. Because I've, I've picked up almost all of them. I really do enjoy those cards. Next on the list is a guy that I'm actually selling right now. Just for the time being. Because prices I'm waiting for like prices and Mutt Heroes to come out. And then I can go all in on my team. Kevin Mawai. I'm assuming mine sold because I don't see him here. If you power this Kevin Mawai up, right? You look at his stats. He's got 87 pass blocking. 86 pass block power. 87 pass block finesse. 90 run blocking. 89 run block power. 88 run block finesse. Awesome stats for a center. Now, if you powered him up, he'd probably have like an 86 strength, 86 awareness, 85 pass block, 84 pass block power, 85 pass block finesse, 87 run block, 87 run block power, and probably an 87 run block finesse. That'd be a very awesome center. That would probably cost you a little around 100k, just about, to power him up to. That's like the point I'm getting across, that Legends and Mutt 10 Legends have awesome potentials to give you a great card for a fraction of the price that plays very similar. So that's just one recommendation as a center because center position is kind of weak this year so far. We really only have Mawai, Burke, and Kelsey, but Kelsey's a signature series, so he's crazy expensive. Burke's a themed diamond, so he's crazy expensive and not worth it. Mawai is the only really affordable one, and like I said, his power-up card is very, very within reach. Now, another guy that I'm a big fan of that I, just, I haven't picked up because I just did this with Brian Dawkins a few weeks ago, so it'd be stupid for me to waste so many coins, but Calvin Johnson Jr., you know, it doesn't say junior in his car, but it's always stuck on my head. Anyways, Calvin Johnson, 92 overall free safety. 
He's obviously out of position on this card. They did give him the free safety nod, which is kind of weird. But his free safety power up card would have an 86 speed, 85 excel, which is pretty fast at free safety right now. He'd have probably an 82 tackling, 87 play rec, 85 pursuit. That's not bad. He'd have probably an 89 zone coverage and an 82 hit power. If you put lockdown on him, that new Calvin Johnson power up at a 90 overall will have the, um, the zone threshold. He'll be fast with a decent hit power and pretty good play rec, pretty good tackling. And he's Calvin Johnson Jr. So you get a you get a six foot five free safety with pretty good catching. Although I thought it should have been better getting out to Calvin Johnson card. But again, he'll be tall, athletic. He'll be fun. I think he's an awesome guy. At number seven, at number six. I mean. Now, next on this list is a guy that I already mentioned in this video. Obviously, I actually think I... Oh, I actually powered him down, so I do not have him to show you. But again, I can go off his full card. And that's Patrick Willis. He's going to be number six in this list right here. Or number five, sorry. Number five. So, he has his Redux, obviously, or his limited time card. But again, I've had his 90... I mean, his 89 overall card before. And the card balled out for me. He had an 85 speed. He had an 84 Excel. He had like an 83 strength, 86 tackling, 86 play rec, 84 block shedding, and an 86 hit power. Now, the card almost was identical stat-wise, with a few stats down by like one or two. The only big difference between this Patrick Willis and the 89 is that his, zone, uh, his hit power is a lot worse, but it's not that much worse. It's like an 85, 86, which is still usable. It's just not exactly the threshold. But again, he's really fast, can hit like a truck, can decently block shed you know stuff the run i think the card as a whole is a beast although we have shazier and devin white for free in this game which if you guys didn't go went that route already i understand that's why i got rid of willis too but if you do not go that route trust me he is a monster middle linebacker he played awesome for me now next on the list is the guy that actually just came out and the only reason i haven't put him up higher on this list is because i do suspect that we will be getting most likely most likely a Deion Sanders in the near future, so I'm kind of hesitant to go all in on this new cornerback, but that is Champ Bailey, 91 overall Champ Bailey. He's got 90 speed, 90 excel, 91 agility, so obviously he's an athletic beast, and he's got high man. That's what I really care about here. High man coverage, athletic beast, kind of sounds like the guy I'd want in a blitz scheme. So for me personally, in my opinion, if you power this guy up to an 89 overall, he'd probably have like an 87, 88 speed, 87, 88 excel, probably 89 agility, 84 jumping, 84 play rec, 88 man coverage 83 zone and 81 press now if you lock put lockdown on him and you chem him up right with madden or whatever he will have a threshold man coverage he'll be fast good agility good acceleration and i'm almost positive he's really good in the return game so well interception return game he's got 90 ball carry vision 90 spin move 95 juke move this card's an overall beast i think he's like he's like baby Dion in my opinion but the only reason i'm not all in on him is because every time champ bailey comes out every year and i go all in on him Dion sanders comes out soon and i feel like i wasted my money Although you could certainly have both, there's nothing against that. But I have too many Nat cornerbacks to really go that route. Next on the list is Brian Dawkins. I actually do have his power up here to show you. Brian Dawkins, the power up, has 86 speed, 84 acceleration, 80 tackling, 80 play rec. So, so far, really good play recognition, really good speed, 6 feet tall, decent tackling. Now, his pursuit's an 87. That's big. I like my guy. I like my safeties to always have good pursuit because they always, when they take angles on running backs that are breaking loose with the base and stuff, it's always huge because they don't take the right angles or they can't catch up. With only an 86 speed, having a high pursuit kind of counteracts the speed because if his speed was higher, but he had really bad pursuit, he'd probably still get outrun by fast running backs. But if his pursuit's really high and his speed's only an 86, he can still chase down guys easily. I've seen it happen all the time. Now, he has an 85 zone coverage and an 88 hit power. He hits like a truck to play the zone. The only difference is that he's not through his threshold like this full Brian Dawkins is, but he's also a fraction of the price again. Now, next on this list, someone that I actually am also selling, but only because I'm waiting for Mutt Heroes to really get my full grasp of my team. I use this guy in Weekend League. Shannon Sharp was a beast. I'd imagine if you powered him up, he'd still have very good stats, such as an 82 speed, 80 strength, 85 catch, and 88 catch in traffic, 82 spec catch, probably an 83 short route running, 83 medium route running, and a 70 run block. So as a whole, he'd still be an uber athletic tight end. He, I think it would come down to him or Kittle for the tight end that I'd want. The only difference is that Kittle could run block better. The power of Shannon Sharp would be able to just catch better, but they'd have the same speed. So it'd kind of be like an offset of would you rather have more of a wide receiver stats or would you rather have more of a well, lineman stats with Kittle. So that's what that comes down to. Now last, but certainly not least, the best option in the game to power up my personal opinion is Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor is the greatest, if not, well, one of the, if not the greatest defensive players of all time. He's a monster, and in Madden, if you guys have played in years past, you know that every year he's one of the top defensive players. 
you power him up, you lock him on your team all year. That's why I love him, because I know I won't be powering him down at all this year. He'll be locked into my lineup for the long, the long haul. He's got 85 speed, 88 excel. An outside linebacker, that's pretty crazy. He's crazy athletic. Can chase down any quarterback, gets to the quarterback fast on top of so not just block like block shedding, power moving on stuff. That's yeah, that's important. But you have to understand that speed, like if you have like a guy with a 72 speed at end, like a JJ Watt, and he has really good pass rushing, he'll get there. But with escape artists and all these quarterbacks and how quickly how much time you have in the pocket, people can get passes off. With Lawrence Taylor, the second he gets past that, you have like a second to throw it away, or else you're gonna you're not gonna get in the animation in time. He's got 86 strength and 86 tackling, really strong. Definitely, he's a secure tackler. He can make his tackles. He barely lets people break through him. 85 play rec, 86 block shedding, 90 power move, 88 finesse move. So he's a threshold pass rusher. Now, I wish his block shed was a little bit higher, but he'll get more cards in the future. I can obviously keep him up. No concerns there, guys. Now, that is it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, boys. Don't forget, comment down below 50K. Give it a thumbs up, and you're entered to for the 50K giveaway if we do hit the 350 like goal. Also, comment down below any guys you think that I missed. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.